Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today on Masechtas Kedushin, Daf Ayin Tess. We're going to begin on Ayin Chesim at Beis by the mission on the bottom. It says the Mas Nisan, Nishan Asin Rishus L'Shluchai L'Kadosh Es Bitoi. So someone who gave permission to an agent to be Mekadosh's daughter, V'holachu V'kidsha, and the father did it himself. He was Mekadosh, his daughter, uh, to some man, and... It was not necessarily the same person as the shliach, obviously, or else it wouldn't be much of an issue. So, im shalok kadmu kedushim kedushin. If the father was first, then his kedushin is the one that works. The im shal the im shal shlucho kadmu kedushim kedushin. And then, if it was the shliach was first, then he's first. So first come, first served. The problem is the im dua. If let's say we're unsure of who was first, as we continue to in testament aleph. Shneim nois get. Both of them have to give a get <coughs> if she wants to marry someone else. Vim rotsa echad nois and get echad kindness. But one could give a get and then she could marry the other guy. Vachin ha'isha shenasner shos l'shlucha. Same when it comes to a woman who gives permission to an, her agent, l'kadsha, that she wants this man, this shliach, to find a husband and and accept my kedushin. The halch of a kitchas atzma, but she did it herself again. Im shalok kadmu kedushin kedushin. If she was the first one to do it, then her kedushin is one that works. The im shal shalok kadmu kedushin kedushin. Vimino yoidim shneim nois and get. If we don't know, then she has to get a get from both. The imrots echad nois and lo get the echad kindness. And the question is, why do you need? The Rasha and the Seifa, or the father, and her doing herself. So the Gemara addresses this immediately. If we're dealing with the father, so he understands the dinim of Yuchsen, or how Yuchas works. Maybe it would not be a good kedushin. What does this mean? So Rashi. So if we we find out the there's a great level of yichos in this in this shidduch, kid shulo ubitlas hashliach, then maybe we should be mavatol the shliach, because since the father went out of his way to find someone who has good uh, yichos, so we should maybe say in that situation you would think if the shliach was first. But the father found someone who has more who's miyuchesas, so we should listen to the father. But she's not when she was mikdash herself, she may not understand who this person was. As far as yichus, even if she was mikdash herself first, maybe the shleich is not bottle. That she's not really simch on her own kedushin. The summer dimo shleich mishachem yuches l'mize. Okay, it's interesting svara. V'yashm inan gabi dida. If we're talking about her, mishum d'issa daiku mincema. It's her, so she's going to be careful who she wants to marry. She's going to look into it. Over iu imalo if chaslei tzricha. But over here, when it's talking about the father to the daughter, maybe she's not. He's not going to look into it. And he's even if it says Rashi im tinasi lem yuchas kol dehu, so again maybe he's not going to be as particular. Okay, so therefore you could look at it either way. Maybe the father he's older, more mature, so he can know the situation better. Or no, we're talking about her, and it's her life. It's her getting married, so she'll be more careful. <laughs> Itmar <clears throat> kidsha via baderach. Let's say her father was Makadish uh, her on uh, in the on the um, you know, on the road, and she was Makadish herself in the city, and apparently Rashi is Bobayoyim. It all happened the same day, so obviously if it was different days, we would say the first one is the one that works. Bahari he Bogaris, but here's the question: She is a Bogaris. Says Rashi, b'dekanuya ladas. So what happens is she was a Bulgaris today. Not that she's like 40 years old. 
We're talking about someone who just became 12 and a half. She's a Bulgarian exactly at this moment. So that's where it gets a little bit confusing. So Ravoy Mirhari he Bulgaris Lufanenu. We have a Bulgaris in front of us. And there says Rashi, Vikidusha Kedushin Voishalvio. And what's the Shaila? Of course. We're gonna follow her because the father doesn't really have a yad anymore. So therefore, because of that, we should say that her kedushin is chal, not his. However, Shmuel, interestingly enough, disagrees. And Shmuel Omer Chayshina on the kedushi shneim. He's actually concerned that maybe um, it should be a good kedushin for the father. But why? Says Rashi. Very important, Rashi. Shema kishikid shav. Maybe again, she just became a begaris today. But maybe the father's of a when she was in Naira, they come in kedusha. So maybe. Again, okay, we said it was boy biyayim, but, you know, we can get confused over here. How do we know necessarily? Maybe he actually was Mekadosh while she was in Naira, and he had a yad to be able to do it. Okay, so, Shemul Oymer Chayshin L'Kadushi Shneim. So, Amos, what exactly, when is this? So, we kind of spelled out the case a little bit better. So, Shisha, if this is within the six months between Naira and Bagras, which, again, basically what we're saying is that... <coughs> <coughs> she may have shown her Simoni Nairus, um, but she's still a bo- she's not a Bulgaris. Bulgaris of Anenu, Hashtahu de Bagra. Hashtahu de Bagra. I understand. If this took place um, when she was in Naira, and she only became a Bulgaris now, so why would we say that the father doesn't have a Yad? Of course he should have a Yad. Ele Achashisha. So it's talking about when she's already a Bulgaris. She's, again, let's, let's call her 18 years old. Why would you even assume that the father's kedusha means anything? She's already Bulgaris, so then the father has no yad. So why would we think that? Why should be chayish to the father's kedusha? So as we already said, it was mamish that day. The day that she became a Bulgaris is when the kedusha allegedly took place. So the Mashlim Shisha, at that day, her six months were completed. So Rav Aimer Harahi Bulgaris Lofanenu, she's a Bulgaris. Midahash to Bulgaris, right now we see right now she's a Bulgaris, probably in Misafrinami Bulgaris. We're just going to put her on her Chazaka, that right now in front of us we see a Bulgaris. So we're going to assume that she was a Bulgaris also in the morning. And therefore, we're going to listen to, we're going to accept her Kedushan. Shmuel Aimer Hashahu Diaisi Simonim. But not only now did she bring Simonim. So what does that mean? So therefore, because of that, so until she was able to, at this moment, prove that she in fact is a legitimate Bulgaris, maybe before that she was in Naira. And therefore, because of that, he's Chayish L'Kedushi Shneim. Shmuel Nami, so Shmuel, Maishnam and Mikvim. So Shmuel says, we don't look at what's happening at this moment. Rather, we say, okay, fine. Okay, at this moment, yes, but maybe it was different before. But that's not what we say when it comes to the dinam of a mikveh. Dinan. Mikveh shemidad shemidad v'nimsachaser. So a mikveh has to have our boyim saw in order for it to be kosher. So it was measured, and it turned out there was only 39.9 saw, which means that it's not, it's not enough water in there. So what the problem is, how about everything that happened before? <clears throat> so Kol Tahara Shenasu Al Gabav Lomafreya Ben Bershos Yochah Ben Bershos Arabim Tameyos. We say that everything is Tame. Why? Because we look at it right now. If it right now it's missing, we're concerned that it's also missing. So its status doesn't change. We assume that it also was the same as now. So why don't we look at its current status and say that's how she was before, like a mikvah? Says the Kashan Shmuel. So Shani Hasam the Eko Mamer Hemet Tamiel Cheskasai, the Amer will Taval. The reason by a mikvah is because the person or the Kalim or Tame. And the question is, did the mikvah make it pure? Did it make them pure? <clears throat> and therefore, since we have a Safek, we're gonna say, let's keep it on their original Khazaka. We know that there were tame. Adarada hamid mikvah cheskas of emel chasar. The mikvah before we measured it was male. We measured it before, and it was 
a mikvah of memsa. So why don't we why don't we look at what the person is on the gavra? Look at the chefza. Look at the object. In the object, the mikvah was mali before. Yeah, you can't look at the mikvah like that because hari It's missing. It's missing the, the water. But over here also, she's a bogaris in front of us. So the Gemara says, okay, that's true, but hashtahu de bagra, she just became a bogaris today. Yeah, but hashtahu nami hashtahu de chasar. Just today, we measured it, and only today it was missing the memsa. Presumably, I'd say yesterday we measured it was mole. So it only became, it was only established as chasar today. So the Gemara answers, hashtahu tartilari usa. So this is such it's a shas sugya. And he says there's a difference between here. Over there there's two problems. And over here there's one. So one of the two. So the Rashi. So you have Tami al Cheskasai. Problem number one is the person who is Tami going into the mikvah. So we, he's the starting point is Tami. And also Vahari Khasavanach. And the mikvah is problematic. So when it comes to the mikvah, we say that. It, everything is gotta be tummy because it's a tartal reusa. However, over here says Rashi, Gabi Kedushia Av, when it comes to the Kedushin, Chadl Reusa Hu, because only one, Hari Bogaris of because right now, today, she's a Bogaris. But the question is, maybe a little bit before, she was not a Bogaris. If you would put the woman on her Chazaka, Yoima de Mashlim Shis Lav Cheskas Bagras. She doesn't have a Cheskas Bagras because she just became a Bagras this moment. Lav Cheskas Nairus Isla. Interesting. It's also, she doesn't really have a Cheskas Nairus. She's in the state of limbo. Shaha Yoim Hiasuya Lishtanois. Because today is the day in which she was to change. So that's the reason why Shmuel, you can't ask a cash on Shmuel by a mikvah. It's not the same thing. Okay, how about when it comes to the din of a of a barrel? What's that? The sanya. How you buy the chavis? You examine a barrel. Well, truma, and your goal was to separate truma. Now Rashi says um, you wanted to make sure that it was not vinegar, so therefore you examined the barrel for that purpose. And you went. And then it turns out that it was vinegar. So the first time you looked at it, it seemed to be okay. And then now, a little time later, we'll see how long, all of a sudden it's vinegar. It's a problem. So then it's like this. All three days, vadai. What does that mean? Look at the Rashi. The first three days, the first three days, when you examined it, in other words, not that it was one day after the other, but let's say you checked the, the wine on a Sunday and it was wine. And then Friday you looked at it and it's vinegar. So the question is, when did it turn into vinegar? So the, the first three days from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's impossible for wine just to immediately turn into vinegar overnight. It takes a couple days. So those few days... It's Vadai wine. And therefore, <coughs> we can say <coughs> any Tevel that you used uh, this as your separation, it's Mesukan. It's good. Mikan Ve'elach Suffolk. However, anything after that, after those three days, again, going back to our example, let's say it's Thursday, so it's a Suffolk. And therefore, it says Rashi, Vahavi Trumali Asilazarim. So we're going to actually require you to separate again the Shema Kvar Hechmitza because maybe it already had turned into vinegar truma, and therefore it was not a valid truma. So that's the idea behind this. Okay, so that's the din when it comes to wine. And then we ask the kasha, the barrel that we just said to the case of a mikvah. Why over here do we say the first couple of days, it's definitely wine? And how come we said by the mikvah, the second that you measure the mikvah, um, <coughs> says Rashi, Gabi mikvah, we say that everything is considered to, uh, to be tameis 
So why is it Tameh? If let's say you measured it on Sunday, and then you measured it again on Friday, and only Friday again, when you second, second time you measured it, you saw that it's Chaser. Why don't we say that Monday, or a couple of days, that the whatever's in that mikvah, the first couple of days, since the time you measured it, when it was full, maybe it should be Tahar. So what's the difference between the Chavias and a mikvah? So that's the Gemara's question. The whole din of this of this notion of, of the barrel of wine to vinegars or shimon. You're right. According to him, Itaka does hold that there's a suffix when it comes to uh, some of the time. But here's the key line. Rav Shimon Oimer, Rav Shimon says it depends. Bershus Rabim Taharos, Bershus Yachid Toilin. So the din is, we usually hold Suffolk Bershus Rabim is Sveiko Tahar. Suffolk Bershus Yachid is Sveiko is Tame. We're not from the din of a Saita because the a Saita who was secluded with a man, so we don't know what happened in there, but it happened in Bershus Yachid. It was in a private area. So in that situation, the din is that we say that Talmeh, if you will, that she had, she's a Saita. So that's the din here too, that when it comes to Bershus Arabim, it's Tahar, Bershus Yachid, we Toila, which means Toilin. So any kind, anytime we, we're dealing with Safi Toma, we're going to use that, we use that language of, of Toilin. <coughs> Of a rabbanon tevel mafreya, but according to rabbanon it's tevel mafreya. So shani hasam. So again, according to Rav Shimon, it's not a kasha. But according to rabbanon, what's the different? So shani hasam diko emer hemet tevel cheskasoi. The emer will nitkan because you can say that this tevel was not properly tithed because it wasn't tithed, and then okay, fine, you tithed it, but maybe it wasn't properly done. So let's just assume it remains tevel. Why don't we say that the wine, the first couple of days, is was still wine? You can't say that. Now it's vinegar. Now she's bogeris. So hashtu the bagra. She only became bogeris now. So hachinami hashtu hu It only became chametz now. So hasam tarta reyusa hachachada reyusa. So again, we use the same language. <coughs> Over there, it's a tarta reyusa. When it comes to this wolf, to this tevel, um, it became, um, it, it became vinegar. So it, it became vinegar, and the problem is that the just like the person who was tame, the food was tevel. So that's the reason why they're more strict than in the case of this bogeris. When it comes to bogeris. Um, it's not the same, and therefore it's shy that we should be chayshish lekedushi, the kedushan of the father. Name a So let's say let's not get too far ahead of myself. Question one. I didn't mark this up. Hayabaydik is a chavis al maf lahafresh lad truma rachan nim sachayim. It's madin madin hatruma shehifresh ad shas mitzia. So luchad man di oimer. Would be nice if I marked this down. Let's mark this down here. So, Luchad Man the Army says, Kosh Loisha Yomim Rishon Mavani Yain. The first three days is definitely wine. Luchad Man the Army, Kosh Loisha Yomim Machorin Mavani Chaymets. However, another sheet that says that it's actually the Kosh Loisha Yomim Machorin, the last three days is vinegar. Yomim Shimon Etayim is put to the Rabban of Rav Shimon. I'm not sure if we saw all that yet, but that's the uh, the gist of, of that. Um, let's look at question two as well. Kitsha Avia. Okay. Kitsha Avia Baderach, the Kitsha Atzmo, Beir, Shmuel, Oimer, Chayshin, and Kadushi Shneim. Mashna Shmuel, Mimikva, Shemadadam, and Msachaser. There's Oif and Mighty Shmuel, Rab, the Oimer, Hari, Hibagar, Safanenu. So. As we said, when it comes to the mikvah, there's a tartle reyusa. There's two problems, which as we saw, that we, we have the tummy person should be on his chazaka, and also it's chaser Um 
So as opposed to but Garrus is only one. However, let's see what this says over here. Uvimi Khashakto Ywaimer Kvar Bagart uh Bagarti Maidishmu. However, if let's say they say I've already I already was a Bogaris, then Shmuel will admit. So that's I think again we didn't see everything. So name a tanoi. So let's say this is Taka Machloikas Tanoi. As we continue to I in Tesma days. Me moitzi me ad me. What does that mean? So says Rashi. Hakaisim nechas of lacherim. If a person writes possessions to someone else, lo shir klum. He didn't leave anything. He gave everything away. The kaimalon. It says toward the end of Baba Basra. Beshchimira. If you have someone who's dying, shein naso matana. Um, that gift is not a gift. Im omad. If let's say he stands up. Let's say he gets healthy. He was dying. <clears throat> he gave everything away, and all of a sudden, he miraculously is healthy, he's going to have another 30 years of his life. So we say that the Goli Daita, Medloi Sharimidi, the fact that he didn't leave anything, the Mitzvah Machmas Mitzvah Hoya. He only said it because he knew he was dying. He thought he was dying. Therefore, if he would have known that he would be healthy, he would never have done it. He wasn't going to give away everything, knowing that he may live, and then he'll be have zero dollars to himself. Vim bari haya. However, if let's say he was healthy, then matnasu matana. Interesting enough, that would be a gift. Because if you're a sound mind and you know that you, you're projecting you're going to live, you can still give anything you want away. And then all of a sudden he says, whoa, wait one second. I was a shchimira when I said this because he's trying to get a, 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 get around <clears throat> this uh, notion, he doesn't. Didn't, he changed his mind. Doesn't want this person to have everything. <laughs> nice guy, right? He says, "No, you were healthy, and therefore I want all your money." <laughs> so that is what that statement is. Okay, <laughs> So again, the person who said, "I'm giving away everything," and then afterwards he says, "One second, I was a shchimiro when I said it." So really, the din should be that. It, what I said meant nothing because I'm really healthy now. And the other people, person said, no, you were always healthy. Give me all your money. So who might see me Adam? The owner can t- takes it from their hands. Below Raya. Even without <coughs> a proof. Um, he doesn't need to bring a Raya that he was a Shemira. We're just going to assume and listen to this guy. The one who made the declaration. He can get keep all of his money or get it back. Rabbi Yaakov says they could not take it out of this guy's hands unless they can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt, would say with medical records, that this guy was healthy. And if this guy was, if they can't prove it, then they can't get any of his money. That's the din of Rabbi Yaakov. Rabbi if he's healthy, then he has to prove that he was actually a shchemira. If shchemira, who, if let's say he was dying, uh, then they have to prove that he was healthy. So, name a Rav Diyamakurab Nasan, Shmuel Diyamakurab Yaakov. So, you have to hold cup a little bit over here. So, Ra, let's say that Rav, who again, in our, mish, our Gemara said that we don't know what the status is, we just say, oh, uh, she's a Bogaris. Again, what happened in the beginning of the Gemara is that the father was Mekadosh here the, on the road, and she was Mekadosh herself in the city, and she became a Bogaris on that day. So Rav says, we look at who she is at this very moment, and she's a Bogaris, so therefore we're going to assume she was also always a Bogaris. And that's, in, that's consistent, apparently, to the opinion of Rav Nosson. We look at who he is right now. If he is healthy, we're going to assume he's healthy. If he is dying, then we're going to assume he's dying. Right? We're going to assume what he is now is what he was before. So Rav sounds a lot like the Shita Rav Nosen, and Shmuel sounds like Rav Yaakov. Shmuel who said, maybe we are not so sure, maybe the father really, we should be chayshish, so maybe he holds, <clears throat> like the Shita of Rav Yaakov, that we just automatically assume the owner is right. Says Rashi, delay ozel basar hashta. We don't go after the way it is now. Even though right now he is definitely healthy. But we could assume that just because he's healthy now, 
maybe he was dying before. Just because she's a Bulgarian now, maybe she was a Naira before. So we seem seems like it's a Machlokas Tanoim. Samara says, not necessarily. Rav, on the army of Phil Karev Yaakov. Ad Kan Loikam Rav Yaakov, Hossam. The only time Rav Yaakov said his din is over there when we're talking about, again, this person who is healthy, who Rav Yaakov says we will just assume that he was a Shchimira, and therefore he gets to keep his money. Because where's the money? The money right now is still in this man's hands. So, we're, since we don't know, we're just going to keep the money in this person's hands. Um, so therefore, that's the reason why we'll say he gets to keep it. It's not because we the way he is now is not necessarily the way he was before. Just because he's healthy, maybe he was dying before. No, we just have money We have no idea. We don't know if he was healthy or dying at the time he made that declaration. But we do know that he was the owner of all this money, and there's therefore why should we have him have it taken away? Of Ahacha, but by this girl, this Bogaris, me name a Hemed Guf al Cheskaso. Why would we assume to put her Guf on a Chazaka? <coughs> Says Rashi, Hossam Kivan de Sveka, who am Rina Hemed Maman al Chazaka, Shayam Muxik Bokoy de Matanazu, Shahay Suffolk. Right? However, me equal Mamer Hemed Guf al Cheskaso, Vetahavi Naira Yoima de Mashlam Shis. Right now, because this is the day she became Bogaris. So when the Kedushin was accepted, we don't know if she was a, she was already Bogaris or she was still a Naira. There's no Chazaka. Which is the same Lushan Rashi said before. The only time Rav Nassim said that we look at how he is right now and we'll assume the way he is right now is how he was before, is only the Kuliyama Becheskes Bariyam Kaimi. If this guy right now is healthy, we're just going to assume that he was always healthy. Why would we assume um, just because he was? He says that he was a Shlimira, but the reality is most people are healthy. <coughs> As I cough. Most people are healthy. And therefore because of that, just because he says, oh yeah, but I was dying, but the reality is most people aren't dying. So he'd have to prove that he actually was a Shrimira. So Madika Mapik Navshe Michazaka, the one who wants to remove himself from the status quo of most people, Habiwayla Sui Raya. He has to prove it. Over here again. We don't really have the same type of a chazaka. So therefore the din is different. So name a kahani tanoi. Kid Again, almost identical. She was Makad he was Makadish on the road. The Kid Ba'ir. And she was Makadish herself in the city. The Harihi Bogaris. Which again is Mashma at this time. So Tanakhada Hari Bogaris of Fanenu. And therefore we're gonna follow what her Kadushan. But Tani Ina Khaishila Kadushi Shneim. My love, Chad Karav, Chad Kishul. I mean, how could you not say it's a Machal Kastanayim? It is verbatim the exact same thing of Rav and Shmuel. But again, we don't like to use a Machal Kastanayim and say it's a Machal Kastanayim. We don't want to do that. And therefore, we talk, we'll say it's not a Machal Kastanayim. It's unbelievable. It's the most unbelievable Gemara. Lo, Eid Eid Kishmuel. No, really. Bold sheets is going to be like Shmuel. Well, the second one is obviously like Shmuel because it's exactly what he said. How is it possible that Shmuel could hold like the first statement that Harihi Boger Slifanenu? What does that mean? So Gemara says, the Edi Edi Kishmuel, Kan Bimachshato, Kan Bishain Machshato, which is what we saw already in the question. So that is the one time when she argues, when she contests it. So in that situation, uh, she, in, in that situation, we're going to believe um, her. We're going to believe her. 
because since she contested, she says, as Rashi says, she contradicts her father. I was already a Bulgaris. So if she says it, then we're going to believe her. Kind. That's it. The name of Mid Masnat If we're already saying that there's no Machlokas Tanayim, let's then say Amoroi Nami Lopligi. Let's just say that Rav and Shmuel don't argue. Maybe when Shmuel says his din, or when Rav said his din, is talking about when she contradicts or argues with her father. But maybe Rav agrees with Shmuel. All right? Maybe maybe they don't argue at all. So again, maybe they Amoroi Nami Lopligi. Tizbra, Harav Yosebred, Rav Menashia, Midvil, that we have the story that Avad Uv the Kvasid Rav. He passed like the sheet of Rav. So, the Ikbid Shmuel, Shmuel got all upset. Now, if Shmuel and Rav both hold the same thing, then why are you paskening like one of them and not the, sounds like not the other? And why is Shmuel upset that you paskin like Rav? Obviously, they disagree. Yarmakuli Yami Kali Le Bakava Zuta that uh is using this uh interesting analogy that everyone is in this small measure. The Haibn Rabana and Kai Le Bakava Rabba and these were abundant are like in a in a large measure. Um says Rashi, uh Chachma Bakava Rabba, Shafchal Chachmi Sair of Saimachal Binasa Lahatir Safik Vloimer Midahash Bagaris Masafra Nabi Bagaris. So he said, like, what do you mean? Why would you just make this assumption that you're going to assume as she's a Bulgaris this moment, she was a Bulgaris in the morning? Maybe she wasn't. So, like, what? where's your Chachma? How, you're going to be trusting the Chachma. So, why was he all upset? Right? Obviously, you can't say that, oh, maybe it's Dafka in a situation because she contradicted the father. Or not, or not, they wouldn't have argued. Obviously, it is a machlokus, Rabbi Shmuel. Maybe we're talking about a situation um, again where there's a contradict, where he, she contradicts him. So maybe that's the reason why we ended up saying the din is that we say her kedushin is good, and that we're not chayish the father's kedushin. If Shmuel really held that, then he would have said, he would have agreed. So obviously he doesn't agree. Um, uh, Taki, he does agree. Shmuel does say that. He does agree, like Rav. But this is not a case where she contradicted her father. Which is Mashmah again, according to Rav, even when she doesn't contradict her father, that's the situation where the, there's still a machlokas. Okay. We're going to actually stop there because that's a nice little mishta coming up. Let's uh, see question maybe TA 16. Isha. TB 17.